And talking about something special, this is a girl I've known since she was a little bitty kid. And she used to be on the radio with her dad and me. The late kid Craddock adored his daughter Caroline. And now we go into the kitchen with Caroline on Designing Texas. Caroline Craddock and welcome to the Craddock Kitchen and today we're making something really fun. I am on something called the keto diet which is high fat and low carb. So when I was trying to make um, an idea for today I wanted to make something that I'm actually eating. I wasn't going to make something that I'm not eating. So today we're going to make a beautiful filet mignon which is my favorite thing to make with a delicious Roquefort sauce. And then my bestie, Uno, over here is going to make a mashed cauliflower. Yeah. So we don't even need to do mashed potatoes because she's going to do a loaded cauliflower mash. Absolutely. So you're not going to miss that you don't have potatoes, potatoes in your diet. With your steak. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a whole head of cauliflower. I kind of chopped it up. We're using stems and all. Boiling water, salted. You want that. We're just going to put it in here until it's nice and tender. That's going to take about four to five minutes. Strain it out. And then we're going to puree it like it's a mashed potato. Yum. Yeah. I had some bacon that I fried off in here, and I reserved the bacon fat. I took a whole stick of the um, Kerrygold butter okay. and cut it up room temperature. So you just kind of kind of mash it up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to pour some of this, all of this reserved bacon fat on top of that. That's probably gonna make it easier when I put this warm butter on top. The <laughs> biggest part of this diet is getting over the fact that you're allowed to eat fat because we're so conditioned to think that fat is bad for you. You know, I read up on the keto diet because I was curious about it because I was thinking high fat, no carbs, how does that work? Yeah. But what you do is you deprive your body of the carbohydrates and so therefore you have to produce um, ketones, whatever it yep. is, and, yep. that, and that's burning fat from your liver. So exactly. that's why this diet works. The cast iron skillet is your best friend. If it's not your best friend already, it will be. You can literally do anything in this. This thing will last you years and years if you take good care of it. Yeah. The really important thing with your steak is to make sure it's super dry. So you want to leave this out probably like an hour before you start cooking and um, wrap it in some paper towels because the more moisture that's in there, the less it's going to sear. So you want it to be super dry. So when you sear it, get that really yummy, crunchy edges on it. So that's, that's our trick. And the great thing about the steak is it's going to tell us when it's done because you don't have to put any kind of oil in there because once it cooks, it'll create that crust on the bottom so you can easily flip it over and you'll see the caramelization from the salt and the pepper and just the high heat on here. So you want to do like two minutes on each side. But it's so thick, it's not going to be done yet. No, I know, but we're going to do the rest of it in the oven. Mm, nope, needs a couple more minutes. So this is uh, my Roquefort sauce. So I just did a cup of heavy cream and then probably like two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. So I'm going to let that really meld and then at the end I'm going to dump the blue cheese in there and then put some chives on it and it's so delicious and savory. That texture looks so good. It's like you don't even need mashed potatoes. And then the secret to this is nutmeg. Love that. So I roasted this cabbage for texture. And we're just going to fold this in. Like I said, this is a two-in-one dish where if you wanted to, you could just eat the cabbage by itself. So I'm just going to mix this together and then I'm going to plate it up for you. Do you want some butter on here? Do I want some <laughs> good butter on here? Yeah. Thank the Pope you. Catholic. It's kind of same ingredients the, and everything. The best diet ever. I know. I can't wait to try your mash. Thank you. I can't wait to try it either. <laughs> Uno made cauliflower mash, loaded, obviously, with bacon butter. We be cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> so on Tuesday, October 17th, we were having Kids Kids Day, which is the one day a year that we spend raising money for our Kids Kids trip, which is November 16th. You can go to our website, kidskids.com, and you can donate there so we can continue sending children with life-threatening and life-altering conditions to Disney World every year. That really was delish, so I can't wait to see what's cooking in the Craddock Kitchen next month.